writing objective. Students will identify relevant experiences to write a short essay about their culture. Speaking objective. Students will identify and discuss main ideas and themes during read aloud with teacher or in groups. The main characters of the story are the women that are born, aging, and eventually die. There is great grandma Anna, Grandma Carly, Mother Mary Ellen, and the speaker, Patricia. They follow the pattern of life being born, getting married, giving birth to a baby, and eventually dying. The women are shown as caring, loving individuals who value family tradition as evident by the passing of the quilt. The quilt itself is also a character and is always in color, while the women are shown in black and white. Why do you think this is? The setting takes place in America, when a Russian family migrates to New York. The quilt is made in New York, but as the story progresses, it travels across the country as it travels through different generations. The location of the quilt is less important as it is the tradition and meaning behind the quilt that matters. The plot is the story of a quilt that moves through four generations of a family that migrates to America. It begins with the first generation migrating to New York. It then identifies the differences in culture. The quilt is created to help remember their home country. There is no climax or conflict within the story as the story is meant to focus on the message of family tradition. of the keeping quilt are family, tradition, and love. The themes are shown when a group of neighborhood women gather as a family. The quilt is made with the love of each woman. We see the themes of family and love through the different events that the quilt takes part in. The interactions continually change, but family and love remain a constant. Question 1. How does the story help you understand traditions and what they mean to families? Question 2. How do you think Patricia Polacco feels about her family? Give examples from the story. Question 3. The point of view is in the first person narrative. How does this help us relate to the story? 